Chapter 10 Natural Calamities Learning Objective Natural Disasters Dealing with Natural Disasters Help in Times of Disasters First Aid Consequence of Natural Calamities Natural Disasters Many times we hear about events that cause damage to human life and property. They may happen when we are just not prepared for them. We have no control over them. Such situations which pose immediate threat to our life and property are called emergencies. When such emergencies are caused by natural factors, these are called natural calamities or natural disasters. Earthquakes, tsunamis, cyclones and floods are some common natural disasters. Let us know more about some of the natural calamities and their effects. An earthquake is caused by sudden movements below the earth's surface. When large mass of hot liquid rocks are pushed under the earth's surface, an earthquake occurs. Some earthquakes are very mild and cannot be felt, while some are so strong that they cause extensive damage to life and property. Let me answer. What should one do if there is an earthquake? In Forbids, study of earthquakes is called seismology. Teachers note, guide learners about different calamities and how to protect ourselves by giving first aid. What should one do if there is an earthquake? Keep calm. Walk out of the building and move to an open area. Do not enter a building immediately after the earthquake stops. Do not stand near windows, mirrors, hanging pots during or immediately after an earthquake. Stay away from electric poles and trees. Volcanic eruptions A volcano occurs when hot molten rock under the earth's surface is forced out of rocks from the earth's crust. The molten rock is called lava. The hot lava causes damage to everything around it. Cyclones A cyclone is a very strong rotating windstorm accompanied by heavy lashing rain. Cyclones are very common in the coastal regions of India. The strong winds and rain cause loss to life and property. What should you do in case of a cyclone? Listen regularly to the weather forecast if you live near a coastal area. Keep a first aid kit ready. Be careful about snake and insect bites. Check for gas leaks after the cyclone. Tsunamis Tsunamis are huge sea waves caused by an earthquake or a volcanic eruption under the sea. The waves travel with great speed and can be as high as 50 feet. The tsunami that occurred in Japan in March 2011 made many people homeless and caused great destruction. What should be done if there is a tsunami? Just before a tsunami strikes, the sea often recedes from the coast. If you see such a thing, run away from the coast. If you live in a coastal area and feel an earthquake, quickly run to a higher ground. Landslides Landslides occur in hilly areas when big rocks, stones and mud slide down the mountain slopes towards valleys. Landslides are more common in the rainy season. The Himalayas are very prone to landslides. Floods When the water level in rivers and lakes rises due to heavy rainfall and flow to the nearby land, it causes floods. Floods cause damage to the crops, animals, property and human life. When flooded water recedes, epidemics like malaria and cholera break out. Droughts A drought is a long dry spell with little or no rainfall. It causes severe damage to the soil, crops, animals and even people. It usually results in a water shortage that seriously hampers human activities. 
droughts are common in the desert regions of Rajasthan. Crop failures occur due to drought resulting in a famine. Famine is a condition when people die due to shortage of food. What should we do in case of a drought? Take a bath using a bucket. Do not waste water in any way. Do not leave the tap running unnecessarily. Do not throw away water that has been used for plants or to clean the floors. Wild fires. These are destruction fires in forests and other areas covered by vegetation. Uncontrolled fire can destroy forest, vegetation and animal species. What should be done in case of a wild fire? First of all, inform the fire brigade so that the situation can be controlled. Create a safety zone around the house that separates your home from plants and bushes that can burn easily. Clear dry bush and grass from your property because it can act as fuel for a fire. Consequences of natural calamities. Natural calamities have an adverse effect on our lives and property. There is a loss of life and property. Some people become handicapped for a lifetime. Dams and roads are damaged. Many people become homeless. Services like electricity, transport, water supply etc. are disrupted. Help in times of disasters. The government provides relief to the people during times of emergencies. Besides the government, many national and international non-governmental organizations, NGOs and the United Nations Disaster Management Team UNDMT, also provide aid and support to the affected people. Some other organizations that provide help are United Nations Children's Fund, Indian Red Cross, First Hand Foundation. The armed forces supply essential items like food, water, blankets, clothes, etc. to the people in disaster site. The police help to maintain law and order. Policemen, firemen, soldiers and volunteers help in rescue work. They help to remove people trapped under the rubbles of collapsed buildings. Your role Join hands with NGO and do your bit. Collect essential items like food, water, clothes, etc. Encourage the people in your neighborhood to contribute in cash or kind. Emergency Kit Every family should have an emergency kit in their home. If there is an earthquake or tsunami, for instance, there could be a power cut or the water could get polluted. You might get stuck in your home for several days because of a storm or a flood. Having an emergency kit ready could help if anything like this happens. The emergency kit should contain the following things. Food and drinks, clothes, other things like torch and medicines. First aid. First aid is the immediate help given to a wounded or injured person before the proper medical aid arrives. Timely first aid can save one's life. Tips while giving first aid Stay calm. Act quickly. Do what you can or call an elder. Do not allow people to crowd around the victim. In case of fire, what should we do? Raise an alarm and inform the fire brigade by calling an 101. Rush for the nearest available exit. If caught in the fire, do not run or panic. Stop, drop and roll on the fire. Turn off all electrical appliances if possible. Use a fire extinguisher. If the fire is caused by kerosene or petrol, never throw water over it. Throw sand or mud on the fire instead. Common first aids Burns In case of minor burns, apply cold water or ice on the burnt part. Apply any antiseptic cream to get relief from the pain. In case of major burns, take the victim to the doctor immediately. Infobates In case of fire, 
Do not use elevators or escalators, rather use stairs. Nose bleeding. In case of a nose bleed, make the patient sit upright with his or her head back. Pinch his nostrils and ask him to breathe through his mouth for about 10 minutes. Apply an ice pack to the nose of the patient. Sprain A sprain is a twist in a joint. In case of a sprain, put an elastic bandage or crepe bandage around the sprained area to immobilize it. Apply a pain relieving ointment like iodex on the sprained area. Fracture A fracture is a break or crack in a bone. In case of a fracture, do not move the fractured part. Tie a splint to the broken bone. A sling can be used to support a fractured arm. Take the victim to the doctor. Fainting Make the victim lie down with his head a little lower than his body. This will make extra blood reach his or her brain. Do not crowd around him or her. Let her or him breathe fresh air. Wounds and Cuts In case of wounds and cuts, one needs to be very careful as germs enter our body through these uncovered cuts and wounds. Follow these first aid tips in case of cuts and wounds. Wash the wound with water. Apply any antiseptic lotion with cotton gently on the affected part. Cover the wound with a clean bandage. If the wound or cut is deep, take the victim to the doctor. If the cut is due to any metal object, the victim requires an anti-tetanus injection. Summary Situations that pose immediate threat to our life and property are called emergencies. When such emergencies are caused by natural factors, these are called natural calamities, disasters. Earthquakes cause great damage to life and property. A cyclone is a very strong rotating windstorm accompanied by heavy lashing rain. Landslides occur in hilly regions. Tsunamis are huge sea waves caused by an earthquake or a volcanic eruption under the sea. Exercise A. Take the correct option. A. Which of these is caused by sudden movement below the earth's surface? Tsunami Drought Earthquake Answer Earthquake B. Raise an alarm and inform the fire brigade by calling 105-101-102. Answer 101. C. The molten rock is called drought, lava, cyclone. Answer lava. D. Which is a long dry spell with little or no rainfall called cyclone, drought, volcano. Answer Drought. B. Fill in the blanks. A. An earthquake is caused by sudden movements below the dash. Answer. Earth's surface. B. A dash is a very strong rotating windstorm accompanied by heavy lashing rain. Answer. Cyclone. C. A dash is a long dry spell with little or no rainfall. Answer. Drought. D. In case of dash, apply cold water or ice on the burnt part. Answer. Major burns. C. Answer the following in short. A. What is first aid? Answer. First aid is the immediate help given to a wounded or injured person before the proper medical aid arrives. B. What is the use of an emergency kit? Answer. The emergency kit should contain the following things. Food and drinks, clothes and other things like a torch or medicine. D. Answer the following questions. 1. What are natural calamities? Answer. 
when emergencies are caused by natural factors they are called natural emergencies 2 what is an earthquake answer an earthquake is caused by sudden movements below the earth's surface 3 what is a drought answer a drought is a long dry spell with little or no rainfall 4 what is a cyclone answer a cyclone is a very strong rotating wind storm accompanied by heavy lashing rain what first aid will you give in these situations 